Well, McSorley was reasonably highly recruited coming out of high school in Northern Virginia at safety, despite the fact that he led his high school to four straight state championship game appearances. Very few high major recruiters looked at the six foot tall, 180 pounder and said quarterback. One guy who did, though, was James Franklin, originally securing McSorley's commitment at Vanderbilt before convincing him to join him at Penn State after Franklin got that job. As Rick Pizzo tells us, it is fair to say it has worked out well for everyone involved. McSorley looking for the hat trick, fighting, reaches, touchdown! Near corner, Hamilton reaches up, and he's got it. Touchdown, Penn State. McSorley across the middle. Touchdown. Penn State wins it. A walk-off touchdown. Wow. It's been a remarkable ride so far for Trace McSorley. He scored more touchdowns and gained more yardage than anyone who's ever worn the blue and white. As a starter, McSorley has led the Nittany Lions to an impressive 22-5 record, a mark that stands out above all to his teammates and coaches. There's motivation every single day when you step in here knowing you're the quarterback of Penn State. There's a responsibility that you have, and there's a job you have to you know, come in and show up every single day to work hard and push the rest of the team to be as good as it can be. More than anything, it's probably going to be the wins. You know, I think that that's pretty clutch that what he's done there has helped, you know, lead us back to where Penn State belongs. After a Big Ten championship in 2016 and a Fiesta Bowl victory this past season, Penn State is once again among the Big Ten favorites. But this season brings change. Gone are some of the best weapons a quarterback could ever ask for. Saquon Barkley! Mike Gesicki! Deshaun Hamilton! McSorley recognizes the challenge. The biggest one has just been getting chemistry with some of these new guys coming in. They're going to be filling the shoes of guys like Deshaun and Saquon and then Mike and you know Saeed, all, all the big weapons that we had on the outside. I'm excited to see you know guys like Miles get an opportunity. Mark Allen, I think, is another guy that will get some good opportunities this year at the running back position. DeAndre Tompkins, I think this year will be a time where he can become that main guy, that centerpiece of who we got. And then you got guys like KJ Hamler, who's you know a young, speedy guy, same with Brandon Polk, two guys that have shown flashes of their speed that just haven't been able to be able to get on the field yet and really showcase that. Ricky Ronnie takes over an offense that has scored almost 40 points per game since McSorley took over as starter. And now, Ronnie will be the play caller, leading an accomplished senior quarterback. Me and Coach Ronnie have a great relationship. He's known me for years. He's seen me develop from an 18-year-old kid to going to be 23 going to my fifth year. So he's very comfortable with me, and I'm very comfortable with him. You better think out all your options when you're going to design a play for Trace or call a play because he's going to ask the questions. So you better be prepared because he's going to know all the possible defenses that they can throw at him even on Tuesday. I think that's the number one thing is it makes me be on my game all the time. He makes me a better coach every time because I have to spend an extra hour just making sure I'm prepared to coach him. We're able to kind of have that conversation where, you know, how do you feel about how we're running one certain play? Or, you know, what do you think about maybe doing this? If we're thinking about changing something up. And I think that's something that has been beneficial for all of us. Now we can have that back and forth where we're bouncing ideas off of each other. He's the easiest guy to coach because what you tell him, he's going to do. So as long as you can give him all the options that he needs, he's going to go out there and execute. A guy like Trace is like having another coach on the field. It's one thing for me to drop a play on a chalkboard and I think it's going to work. It's a whole other thing for the guy who's there and actually has to operate and see the things in the line of fire. And how's it going to work then? There's times he's been able to tell me, hey, I don't know about that one. I don't know if you can see that. And there's other times I thought something was going to be really hard. And he's like, Coach, that's easy. We, we can get that no problem. Off the field, McSorley is soft-spoken. But his fire emerges when his fellow Lions need it most. It's all about winning for him, and whatever it's going to take to win and pulling the best out of his teammates and things like that. The thing I think he does a great job of, it's not a show for him. That's who he is and that's what he is. 
when I feel like you need to say something, there's definitely a uh, switch that'll flip. Rest of the season, 30 minutes, do your job. That's all you need to do is do your job and finish. When I kind of get into those situations, once I you know, put the pads on, kind of become the quarterback of the football player, that's just kind of where that switch flips and then I kind of turn into a little bit of a different person. All we got to do is finish. Great players, finish. Great defense, let's be great, let's go. It's all about, you know, what is going to help us win this game and that passion that he has to win is contagious.